Hello children. Before we start, I wanted to show you a picture that um, a mom sent me of a project that she's doing with her child. They're making beautiful creations out of Play-Doh together. Isn't that nice? That's something fun uh, that you could do at home with your grown-ups. In fact, you could make Play-Doh with your grown-ups. They could look up a recipe. It's, it's not too hard and it's really fun. Warm Play-Doh right off the stove is, is very uh, soothing and very wonderful to play with. For all ages, your grown-ups will enjoy it too. So thank you so much for that picture. It's nice to picture what people are doing at home uh, with their families. Okay, let's get started. Hello children, welcome to Preschool Meeting. I'm Miss Stephanie and it's good to see you in this way. <laughs> I'm seeing you here. I'm imagining you at home. I miss doing preschool meeting at, at preschool. That's probably my favorite part of the day. Um, and maybe you're missing story time at the library or going to a family center and having circle. It's, it's hard when we can't get together, but we can have this kind of preschool meeting and see if we can make that work. So why don't we start with some breathing, shall we? Why don't we do smell the flower, blow out the candle, this is a nice one that you can teach your grown-ups. It's a nice way to relax your body and your mind, um, and that can just help you feel calmer and more healthy. It can help you if you're nervous or upset or just too excited. Uh, it, can help, it can help manage those emotions. So, finger up, and let's go. Smell the flower, you breathe in through your nose. Blow out the candle. Smell the flower. Blow out the candle. One more time. Smell the flower. Blow out the candle. Oh, that feels so good. Well, I wanted to do a magic trick for you today as a way to talk about different shapes. So hold on, I'm gonna get my magic bag. Here it is, it's my magic bag. Look, it's empty and it's ready for action. I also have a piece of fabric that I cut into a shape. What shape is that, do you know? Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four sides. Count the corners. One, two, three, four. Hmm, what kind of shape is that? This is a rectangle. A rectangle has four sides and four corners or angles that look just like this. They go straight over, straight down, or straight down, straight over or straight over, straight up. <laughs> These are called right angles. You'll learn about those in math class as you get older. So this is a special kind of rectangle that has four equal sides. When all the sides are the same length, it's called a square. That's a square. What color is this square? Yellow like the sun, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna make this square disappear. Would you like to see that? Okay, here is my magic bag and I'm going to put my square into the bag Ooh. and I'm going to get my magic wand and say the magic word bibbidi bobbidi boop oh, it's gone where did it go where did it go oh it disappeared <laughs> all right should I use my magic wand to bring it back shall I all right ready Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Okay, let's bring back that square. Here it is. Here it is, my yellow square. <laughs> oh dear. Is that a yellow square? What shape is that? That's a circle. Hmm? What color is that? Is that yellow? No, that's blue. Hey, blue circle, nice to see you. How did you get in there? Let's put you down and see if we can get our yellow square, okay? All right, should we try this again? Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Okay, here we go. Into the bag, out comes the... What's this? Let's count the sides. One, two, three, and the corners. One, two, three, what is that? Is that a square? That's a triangle. Remember tri means three? Triangle, and what color is it? It's red, that is not yellow. Okay, 
Thank you for coming by, Red Triangle. Um, did you see Yellow Square while you were in there? Oh, you did? Okay, well, let's go in and see if we can get Yellow Square back out. Ready? One, two, three, bibbidi bobbidi boop. Uh oh. Hey. Yellow Square, come on out. Hmm. Oh, maybe if we all say it together. Can you say bibbidi bobbidi boop with me? Ready? One, two, three, bibbidi bobbidi boop. Boop. I hope. <laughs> oh, here we go. There we go. There's Yellow Square. Hi, welcome back, Yellow Square. Well, that's our magic trick. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, children, let's sing our ABCs. We're going to go a little slow so that we can see the letters become bold on the screen as we sing them. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Thank you for doing ABCs with me. I thought we would try something that I'm going to call Get to Know a Letter, where we take one of the letters and um, talk about it. And I thought today our letter could be M. The letter M. The letter M makes this sound. Mmm. Mmm. It's a hum sound. It makes your lips tickle. Mmm. Mmm. M starts words like mouse and muffin and mommy. Those all start with M. And moose. That's a fun word. Moose starts with M too. Should we see how M is made? It goes up and down and up and down. It kind of looks to me like um, two mountains next to each other. And here's the thing. M, M is the first sound in the word mountain. Mountain. Well, M is also the first sound in the word Mars. And the story I wanted to read to you today is called Life on Mars by John Agee. And it's about a boy who goes to Mars to see if he can find any life. And it's kind of silly. So look at the pictures, see if you can figure out what's going on. And we'll talk about it too. Life on Mars. Life on Mars. There's the rocket ship on Mars. And in the distance right here, planet is that? That's Earth. Earth. Looks like the rocket's already on Mars. I am on Mars. I have traveled a long way from Earth. I am here to find life. So he went down the ladder. He sees little footprints there across the surface of Mars. He's looking for life, for things that are alive. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Nobody believes there is life on Mars, but I do, and I just know I'm going to find it. Walking away from the rocket all over Mars. <laughs> what do you see? Poking out. Hmm. So far, Mars looks pretty gloomy. More gloomy than I thought. I'm starting to wonder, could anything possibly live here? What's right behind him? <laughs> it's dark, it's cold. I've brought this gift of chocolate cupcakes. I don't think I'll find anybody to eat them. Oh, so in the little box, He's got some chocolate cupcakes and he wants to give them to someone 
And if he would just turn around, what would he see? Wow, I was wrong. Mars is nothing but miles and miles of rocks and dirt. It's obvious. Nothing could possibly live here. Did he walk right between the legs of that creature? What a disaster. Everybody was right. There is no life on Mars. I'm going home immediately. Oh, put down the little box of chocolate cupcakes. Hmm. Someone picked up the box. Uh-oh. Where is my spaceship? Oh, dear. I can't believe it. I'm lost. Lost on Mars, where there is no life. Wait a minute. What's that? He sees something. What do you think he sees? Oh! He sees a little flower. No way! It's life! It's on Mars and it's alive! What an amazing discovery. I can't wait to get back to Earth and show everybody what I found. That would be exciting to find a flower on Mars, but there's something else very exciting right there that he can't see. And look, my box of cupcakes. How did it get there? Now I've got to find my spaceship. I bet I'll get a good view from the top of that mountain. Goes, so he has his box back and he's going to climb up what he says is a mountain to look for his spaceship. Is it a mountain? Ah, there it is. What an adventure. I always believed there was life on Mars and I was right. Well, he certainly was, wasn't he? He doesn't know how right he was. in his spaceship. I think I deserve a treat. So he's going to open up the box. Remember what he had in there? Chocolate cupcakes. Ah! There's just crumbs in there. Look at his face. How does he feel about that? That there's just crumbs. Does he look a bit surprised? and wondering what happened to those cupcakes. Hmm, we know what happened to those cupcakes, don't we? Someone enjoyed them very much, I bet. Well, children, I had a really good time with morning meeting and um, thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Children, if you'd like to learn more about what's really on Mars, you can ask your grown-up to get you information on the Mars Rover. It's a little car with a camera on it that we put up there on Mars to send back pictures of what it looks like. It's pretty amazing. I don't think they found any flowers or any Martians, but they discovered many other things.